Welcome to another episode of W Electronics. Today we're going to look at a CATV distribution amplifier, model number HCA5051, made by Hall and Electronics. It features a 54 to 550 MHz amplifier, 50 dB of gain, and a nice rugged exterior box made of aluminium. Here's uh, the top of it. There's the input side, input test tap, um, the gain, the gain potentiometer, which has an 18 dB range. Um, you adjust the gain a little bit. Well, pretty substantially. And then the output side, and the output test, which is a negative 20 dB attenuation off the output signal and some a tilt a tilt function too which does something <laughs> so it uses 30 watts of power there's a, the back label on it well, let's see what's inside. I did I did a previous teardown of another Hall Electronics, and hopefully this one will be a little more stuff in there since it has a it's a power amplifier. So let's tear it open. And I think it's I think I got all the screws out. So let's try to pop the lid off. Ooh, that was pretty stuck on there. Oh, uh, wow, not much in here again. Okay, so let me adjust the camera angle and we'll take a closer look at it. So well, here's the inside of the amplifier, and we see a mains transformer right here, just a standard, standard core, nice little fuse down there, um, some a bridge rectifier, and a filter cap, and a little bit of RF circuitry in there, and. Is this uh, the trimmer capacitors? Their trimmer resistors, maybe. Um, I wonder if they're capacitors or resistors. Okay, so this is the input of the amplifier. It goes through. A resistor, series resistor, there's a gas discharge tube right there, two capacitors, uh, inductors that are going to ground, um, another capacitor inductor, um, and then the two resistors going to somewhere else, like a resistor divider or something. And then it goes into this package, which is a BFG591. 7 NPN 7 gigahertz wideband transistor. After going through that NPN RF transistor right there, it goes through these two trimmers. I'm still not sure what, what kind they are, if they're capacitor trimmers or resistor trimmers or inductor trimmers. They're very, it's a very odd thing. When you turn them, this rod goes up and down and, and inside them. So, I'm not sure. Might be capacitive trimmers, maybe, because there's there might be two plates right there, and then this thing can change the, the maybe the dielectric between the two capacitors right there. I'm not sure. So that'd be the gain adjust, and then the tilt adjust on the on the amplifier. 
So then some other passive components, and then what I believe, then it goes through what I believe is another um, NPN RF transistor, the same one as before. And then it goes through this, and then this package right here is a NXP BGY five eight eight C, which is a five hundred fifty megahertz, thirty four point five dB gain push pull amplifier. And it's a very interesting package because it's on a um, it's a hybrid package on a ceramic substrate, and it has a clear window on it, which is pretty neat. It's bolted right to the heat sink. Supposedly this outputs this uh, dissipates a lot of heat. <laughs> Let's see if I can get that part number. It's kind of a difficult package to get a video of. There you go. You can kind of see it there. Inside supposedly there's a whole bunch of nice little components in there. And then it goes through another, um, like, supposedly protection circuitry, gas discharge tube, right there. And that goes right to the output. So, overall it goes through one NPN transistor, 7 gigahertz, and another NPN transistor, 7 gigahertz, and then a 34.5 dB push-pull amplifier, made by NXP. And, the ampl and this main amplifier runs at 24 volts, and then there's a 24 volt regulator um, bolted right to the heatsink over here. So that makes a lot of sense. So that's all that's in the HCA5051 CATV distribution amplifier. This is a very high gain of 50 dB thanks to this um, push pull amplifier and those two NPN transistors. Quite a neat little, neat little circuit. That's all for this episode.